Welcome everyone, this is Josh Rubin from East West Healing. And today I want to talk about retinol is not the same thing as beta carotene and beta carotene is not retinol. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video, show us a little support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a little more support. And don't forget to hit that notification button wherever it is so you get notified every single Wednesday when we put out a video. Let's jump in. So here's the thing, there's a lot of confusion around this because we think when we hear the term vitamin A, it's the same thing as retinol or vitamin A, and it's not. Or when we say vitamin C, it's the same thing as ascorbic acid, and it's not, we did a video on that. Or that all the different types of zinc are exactly the same when we take them, and they're not, right? There's a huge disconnect of that in the industry, in our society. Right, And any time we do talk about a vitamin or any time we do talk about a mineral, the, the first focus is always like, where can I get that supplement? Where can I get the vitamin A supplement? And that's very dangerous. Number one, and I know it's harsh. I feel like that's the lazy way out, right? Because if we really take a step back and do the research, we see that most of these supplements are synthetic right? Especially vitamin A. Retinol palmitate, this is a synthetic form that's added to dairy products and our food. This is the type of vitamin A that is immune system suppressive. It can cause hypervitaminosis or whatever, isis, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the exact term, but that hypervitamin A that everyone's always talking about that can lead to so many symptoms, that immune system suppression, etc., because it's added to our food system and people are taking prenatals and vitamins that have this synthetic form in it. But to jump to the point of this video, beta carotene is not the same thing as retinol, right? First, retinol is found in the fat in animal tissue. Fat stands for from animal tissue, right? Things like fatty fish, herring, sardines, mackerel, salmon, different types of organ meats, you know, liver, things like that. Your eggs and your dairy. This is where you're going to get retinol. And this is very important because our body uses retinol. Remember, if you give the body what it needs, nature do the rest. And this is a great example because our body uses retinol to synthesize TSH to activate thyroid hormone receptors, convert thyroid hormone, and most important of all, to regulate copper metabolism, which means regulate the iron recycling system in the body so we can get rid of this illusion of, I have anemia, right? We've talked about this before in another YouTube video. Now, beta carotene is a provitamin. It's found in vegetables, right? It's found in mostly orange vegetables like carrots we know, right? The difference is humans are very poor converters of beta carotene. Research has shown that we can convert up to 3%. At the same time, people with hypothyroidism or thyroid issues are even poor, more poor converters. Why? Because you need copper, vitamin C, and thyroid hormone to make that conversion from beta carotene to retinol so we can use it. We can't use all that beta carotene. Now, here's the thing. Let's say you eat three ounces of liver. On average, it has about 9,000 micrograms of retinol. So there it shows you that you don't have to overdose on these superfoods. You could get a little bit of these fatty fishes, the Oreo meats if you don't love them, the eggs and the dairy, etc. during the week, and you're gonna get what you need on a daily, weekly basis. You don't have to go crazy about it, right? Health is about balance. But here's the kicker. You would have to eat about 40 pounds of carrots to get the same amount in beta carotene, got 9,000 micrograms. But the problem is you're gonna convert 3% of it and if you have thyroid issues, you're, you're, you're deficient in T3, right? Because not essentially a thyroid issue, maybe you do have a thyroid issue, but maybe you have a conversion issue, maybe you have an APX, APA access issue. Maybe you're just not converting it in the system and you don't have a thyroid problem. Maybe you're deficient in vitamin C, which most people are. The adrenal glands store about 90% of it. Maybe you have a deficiency in bioavailable copper, which so many people do. This is why we're seeing the histamine, the MTHFR, the immune system problems, the skin problems, and the anemia diagnoses. And then you can actually convert less of it. Bringing this all together, do you want to eat something that nature intended us to eat to give the body what it needs? So the body can do what it's designed to do, especially when it comes to the thyroid, copper metabolism, and anemia and iron recycling. Or do you want to overeat something 
to create the illusion you're getting what you need, but you're actually creating more of a deficiency and problem. Now, I don't want this video to come across as you can't eat carrots, right? Because you can. You can't eat orange vegetables because you can. The point of this is you understand you're not getting retinol from those. You're getting beta carotene. It's not the same thing. So enjoy those vegetables, but pair them with a fatty fish. Pair them with some eggs. Pair them maybe with some dairy. You know, make sure you're getting a carb and a protein in each meal. So yeah, you're getting some of the minerals and nutrients you want from the vegetables or the emotional component because you enjoy them. They're crunchy. They're delicious, whatever. But you're getting the other minerals that your body can actually utilize. The other fat-soluble vitamins that your body can utilize, like vitamin A, D, E, K, from the animal foods, right? So this is a food for thought video. Post your comments below, of course. I'm sure there's going to be confusion. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of arguments, a lot of attacks. I'm just here to educate, share my knowledge based on how the body works, based on physiology, biochemistry, and so forth. If you get comments, post them below. As always, I appreciate you for tuning in. Peace, I'm out.